When we look at issues of gender equality and social inclusion, we are simply appreciating the fact that men and women should not be looked at in one homogeneous uh, group, in their respective groups. Within the women, within the men's group, there are other social groups that need to be recognized and appreciated. And in this case, we want to say that people who are vulnerable and excluded from development opportunities, the children, the youth, the elderly, people living with disabilities, all those people need to be recognized. And uh, this is why we emphasize on the aspect of uh, gender equality and social inclusion. We're going beyond the gender aspect, but also looking at the social inclusion, particularly for those people who are ordinarily uh, excluded from participating, whether it's political, you know, economical, social aspects. So in line with that, as we look at issues to do with equity and equality, what we are simply saying here is that equality is the outcome end result or end goal of the process. So if we are implementing a program or a project, our end goal is to have equality at the end of it all. But uh, equity is the means to get us there. Equity is what helps us to reach equality. So we always have to bear in mind the fact that equity denotes fairness and justice and recognizes that each individual has different circumstances and therefore for them to reach uh, the ultimate goal or outcome, which is equality, we need to treat them with fairness in mind. While equality simply means we have people who need equal resources, opportunities, and treated equally. So as we talk about gender interventions, we are simply looking at the fact that we need to play the level playing field for everyone simply focuses on actions to address these unequal power relations and uh, inequalities, to reduce disparities and ensure equal rights, responsibilities, opportunities, and respect for all individuals. As a program, we've identified two main GSC um, gaps in the region. The first is um, the professionals in the water sector are struggling to mainstream GSC in their um, programs and projects. And so as a program, we've been working with them in order to um, build their capacity to understand GSC in depth, so to understand the equity and the social inclusion dynamics. And um, we've also been working with them to understand how to budget properly for those activities and to implement them. Uh, durante as diferentes intervenções que nós temos uh, dado, temos visto sim que há algumas lacunas em termos de conhecimento uh, sobre a integração das questões de género. E isto às vezes não está ligado só pelo fato das pessoas não estarem a perceber, mas é que às vezes o que acontece é que hoje tu tens um ponto focal de género, tens um membro que participa de, de uma determinada instituição, quando vamos às próximas reuniões as pessoas mudaram, são novas pessoas, então é necessário estarmos a dar de novo estas capacitações e as pessoas. E outro aspecto que eu tenho visto que é recorrente, mesmo que sejam os mesmos integrantes, é que sempre é necessário trazer aqui a questão de dos termos uh, chaves de, das questões de género. É uma pergunta que sempre sai em todos os treinamentos que a gente vai. Há sempre esta dúvida, as pessoas têm ainda muitas dificuldades de diferenciar aquilo que é uh, igualdade de género com a equidade de género. Gender is under-resourced in the SADC member states in terms of uh, financial and human resources. And uh, we have seen that uh, commitment to gender is mostly in, in, in writing and not in action. And that's why we find that our gender ministries or departments are either under-resourced or do not have the necessary capacity to do gender mainstreaming and integration uh, within member states themselves. Some of the gaps we've identified really relate to um, not a fully inclusive participatory process when we're talking about gender equity. Um, and this is one of the goals within the, the, within the Limpopo GF program we hope to facilitate and unlock to get more inclusive gender equity and social inclusion in full participation uh, of the program uh, to support the upliftment of the basin and working with the Limpopo Watercourse Commission. What we've discovered uh, in particular in Zambia is that uh, there's a big gap between the number of women and men 
who are employed in the water sector. I think as we all may be aware, uh, the water sector has always been biased towards me in terms of the programs in the engineering uh, field. So I find that uh, at a technical level, most of the members that we have or the staff in that sector mostly are men. But uh, I think statistics have shown that the picture is changing. We are now seeing more women coming on board, uh, filling up uh, different positions. The major challenge that we have is to ensure that the LIMCOM JC strategy and implementation strategy is well disseminated at a local level, that is at national level. Yes, at transboundary level, we, uh, <coughs> we are aware that member states are aware of the existence and even the rolling out of the, uh, the strategy. But the main gap that is there is for them now to take the strategy to the lower levels within the basin, to the catchment uh, um, level and sub-catchment level. The second gap that we've identified um, in the region is the short-term nature of the JC interventions. And this is primarily because most JC interventions are being driven by international cooperating partners as opposed to being um, implemented by the member states and having them as the champions and the ones leading. My recommendation for improved JC mainstreaming in the, in the water sector is actually us elevating our interventions from simply mainstreaming JSE to building a more transformative um, environment. And by transformative, what I mean is uh, JSE mainstreaming is just about the, in the intervention, um, addressing the, the different aspects of issues that we face in the water sector. So for instance, access to quality water, ensuring availability of water. But a more transformative approach to JSE um, or programs or projects that are more transformative will actually lead to us dealing with the norms, the cultures, the structures that inhibit um, more equitable um, access to resources. So let's move from project-based work to dealing with structures and processes that actually create um, inequality in the region. So within uh, the water sector in the Sadiq region, I think what, what needs to be done in order to ensure that gender is mainstreamed is to make sure that we build capacity at different levels. The most important thing is for people to appreciate what gender equality and social inclusion is. We may have all the money, we may have all the human resource. If we don't change people's mindsets, there's really nothing that we can do. So first, the first thing is to build capacity, change people's mindsets, let them appreciate what gender equality and social inclusion is. And then from there, we now start um, uh, you know, conducting gender analysis, gender assessments. We uh, develop our gender action plans for us to put up all the activities, indicators, which we'll later now be able to monitor and evaluate and see how progress is being made. Ideally, we would want to have the different uh, RBOs, the different organizations who are working in this space to have Jesse mainstreaming strategies or policies or guiding frameworks. But as it is, um, we have quite a number who have them now, but this has not always been the case. So the absence of frameworks or policies or guiding um, guidelines makes it very difficult for Jesse mainstreaming. Even when we look at our education system in many countries, at the moment, uh, these issues are emphasized at upper scale. When you look at the participants, most of them are already working, okay, meaning that they have been introduced to these things at a, an older um, age. But if this starts at a young age, it will be very, very important and very useful. I think the best approach is also to, to learn from what other river basin organizations have done, exchange not on the implementation, well, firstly on the development and implementation and rolling out of the strategies. I think there's need for that cross-fertilization from other river basin organizations that have already developed their uh, JC strategies and implementation plan. So that will also learn where we are having challenges in terms of implementation in the Limpuva. We know that river basin organizations, they differ in terms of 
location in terms of situation on the ground. But we have to pick on the good lessons from the River Basin organization that have already established their uh, gender strategy. Not only the good, and also the uh, other challenges that they are facing. Apart from representation, having them on the table, let's make sure we listen to all the voices in their varied and uh, diverse ways. It could be from men, uh, women, youth, people living with disabilities. And as you are aware, when we say men, when we say women, these are also not uh, homogeneous groups. There are women who are advantaged than other women. There are men who are advantaged than other men. So when we say participation is important, we are saying uh, let's have the voices of these diverse groups uh, given a chance uh, on the table so that we work and we plan and we uh, move forward together uh, with everyone included. So at, at the regional level, at, at least we need the, any program which is being implemented need to take into account the dimension of gender. Really also to, to look at what has been achieved at the region, at the national level, and what are the gaps. Those gaps can help to strengthen, can help, can be embedded into a regional program in order to facilitate what the, the gender. SADEC continue to mobilize resources in terms of our best to strengthen those areas where there are gaps in the gender. We haven't, we have done, but we are still pursuing the, the agenda in terms of gender program. The successes that I would happily want to say is that uh, at SADIC GMI we have a subgrant manual which is sort of like our operating bible. So the subgrant manual dictates how we operate at SADIC GMI level. And in that manual we're able to uh, make it mandatory for all projects and member states who we subgrant and give projects to to ensure that whatever project proposal that they submit to us has a mandatory Jesse mainstreaming component. And so far we have 11 projects that we have commissioned for this phase two. And of those 11, all of them have been able to uh, pass that eligibility criteria. We started the program uh, implementing the Jeff uh, Buzi Pungwesave project. There was no Jesse or gender baseline and there were no, also no clear indicators uh, to report on. So what we, we did then was to uh, start off with a gender or a Jesse baseline and that baseline then gave us a framework to understand the current status quo within the three basins. We then went into the next step of creating or drafting the Jesse action plan. And that Jesse action plan is now a compendium that helps us or a guiding map that helps us uh, to move forward. How and why? Uh, because then it clarifies some of those key activities that are tapping into the priority opportunities that were identified uh, through the review of the Jesse baseline studies. And from those key actions, we then are able to prioritize them and also quantify them and bring some time horizon and accountabilities to say who will do what, when, and what will it cost us. Uh, we've also implemented uh, a regional project with other countries in Botswana and Malawi and uh, other regional organizations, uh, SACRI and Kadesa, where we are trying to demonstrate the water, um, energy, and food nexus. Uh, we demonstrate how gender transformation can also be done at that project level. So in trying to do that, we've seen that both women and men are actively involved in those community projects. To advance JC um, mainstreaming or JC transformation in our region, we actually need to collaborate better. So we shouldn't work in silos um, and say, I only work on a USAID program or I only work on a UK aid program. We should actually be working together in order to just advance the different work um, that we have um, in the footprint. Um.